Let me get y'all together. Hold on. There we go. Oh, I don't got my glasses over here. <clears throat> Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, 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 this is your girl, Lori. Hope you guys are having a great day. For those that will be watching the replay, thank you so very much. Today, we're going to be doing a full face of One Size Beauty products. And something special is going to also happen. So make sure you keep watching. And I got a little fragrance haul for you guys. So while we wait for people to come in, let me... I feel like this is lopsided. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, let me get y'all get this together. Let me do my bra while we wait. While we wait, I hope everybody's having a great day. Today I got some rest, so I feel good. Uh, I know I need my glasses, y'all. I'm going to need my glasses. I'm at that stage of life, child, where I got to have glasses. So hold on. Hold on. So that I can read. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Who's in the room? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna fill in my brows while we wait. For everyone to come on in the room. Come on in the room. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I know I'm drinking my coffee today. Y'all need to do my brows. Hey, Roberta. How you doing? Y'all know I'm still working on this lighting, trying to get it to how I want it. Yeah, I need to do my eyebrows for real. I'm doing good. I got some rest today. Um, I got a few things that I need to do. Because I, I got some, you know, I got to go out of town and stuff, but. There, I'm just using my ABH pencil. I don't know what color. Dark brown. Because sometimes I've been doing my brows lately, and I was using this, the Goof Proof one. And I think this is the dark one, and it looks so dark. And I was like, I don't, I don't. Yeah, number five, I think, is a little too dark. So I, I decided to use this and see. For some reason, I've been feeling like that was too dark. Hey, Emmanuel. I'm going to give a few more minutes before we get started. Oh, and our topic for today is going to be um, be yourself. Be your best, the best version of you, your authentic self. And... Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I think I'm going to add a little concealer under my brows. Just to clean it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. Oh, I do have a little haul for y'all. Just a little fragrance. A few things I got. Oh, let me give you a tip. Okay, I was out of town. Well, I've been out of town a lot, y'all. I've been... There's a lot been going on. But... I was out of town two weekends ago, and I was in Orlando. And um, I went to the CCO store at the outlet. And you know how you can call the CCO store and place an order online, I mean, over the phone. So, but I flew in, and I flew in, and I, and I just took like a carry-on or personal bag, and... Um, I don't want to bring the bring the items back because I knew it was over three ounces. I mean, 
I mean, are they over three ounces? No, they're not over three ounces, so I could have did that. But I just didn't want to bring them back because I really didn't have no room in my bag. So the guy, I asked him, could I have it shipped to my home, you know? And at first he was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then the other guy came, and there was the manager. And he said, well, as long as your address matches um, your your as long as your driver's license match the address that is going to, we can ship it for five dollars. And guys, that's what I did. So if you're out of town and you don't want to have to bring your stuff home, your CCO store will ship it. So it, it worked out really well. I was super duper happy about that because I just did not want to have to bring that back with me. Now I'm just putting a little concealer. Just to clean up the under my eye, just a little bit. Cause I definitely need to um I need to wax my brows. Who was here with me when I waxed my brows for the first time? Was y'all any y'all on here with me? Y'all, if y'all have not, it was on a live. It was hilarious, y'all. And I still barely know what I'm doing. But that day was so funny. You hope to see in Charlotte. You in Charlotte? Roberta, you in Charlotte? Don't tell me now, girl. Are you? Then we have in Charleston. Oh, okay. Well, I have two. We have two here in Charlotte. You have one that's in Concord Mills. And then you have one that's in the, the, the I think it's called the Charlotte Prime Outlet. So we do have, I do have some options. Now the one, oh, you'll be there this weekend. Oh, and I'm not going to be here this weekend. Um, I have to go back out of town, you guys. Please pray for my family. Yeah, I got the makeup. Yeah. Um, please pray for my family. I've had, you guys, in the last 30 days, I've had three deaths. Really four, but so my uncle just passed away two days ago, and then my cousin passed away um, last week. So my cousin's funeral is Friday, and I'm not sure when my uncle's funeral is gonna be, but hopefully it'll be this weekend also. Hey, Sasha Ray. Hopefully it'll be this weekend also, so then we can do both funerals while we're in town. So I don't have to, um, you guys, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So, um, well, I was raised in Cleveland. I was born in Missouri, but I was raised in Cleveland. Um, so um, I don't have to go this weekend and then have to turn right back around and go again. So hopefully it'll get worked out so that my uncle's funeral would be while we're up there for my cousin, while we're up there for my cousin's funeral, you know, if that makes sense. So please, please, please pray for my family because we've been going through, a lot of times I don't post things on social media. Uh, a lot of times I don't like on my Facebook or on my Instagram when stuff like that is going on. I, I might say something here on my live, but a lot of times people don't have a clue what, what I'm actually going through or what's going on. But anyway, y'all. Play, pray for my family. Play, I scrimp. I scrimp it. All right, y'all, let's talk about some fragrance. So I told you I went to the CCO store while I was in Orlando. And I picked up the Arian. You guys, uh, y'all know I love Arian brand. So and Arian is owned by Estee Lauder. And this is the Tuberose Le Jour. Le Jour. And I got the 1.7 fluid ounce. This is how the packaging came. Super cute. And then your bottle looks like this. Arian makes some really good scents. Mm, this smells good. Now, 
this, let me tell you the cost of this one. This one for the 1.7 ounce is 240, but y'all know I did not pay that much because it was at the CCO store and I want to say I got 50% off. So um, that's what, 120? And the notes, some of the notes, like I didn't write down all the notes, but I'm gonna just tell you what I smell. Um, it's a sweet, it has a citric scent to it. I know it has Neroli in it. Um, and I, I remember him telling orange flowers was in it. Y'all, it's a nice, sweet, summery scent. And I really like it. It's a grown woman scent. It ain't an old woman. And it ain't a fossil scent. <laughs> Girl, my cousin had me cracking up talking about her daughter told her her fossil age. I'm like, ooh, that mean you old, old. It ain't a fossil scent. But it is a grown woman scent. And I really like it. So I picked this up and they shipped this to me. And then y'all, did y'all know that Estee Lauder now has a luxury fragrance line? I didn't know that. But I found out at the CCO store. And the one that I picked up is called Desert Eating. So this is the actual packaging when you get it and this is what it looks like this is the bottle did y'all know they had a luxury line but y'all let me tell you what i love about this bottle i love the magnetic first of all she weighted she got a little bit of weight to it, the top the, but i love that something about that magnet oh, something about that just makes me happy but this is, um, now this sent to me, this is normally $95. And what size is this? Y'all, let me put my glasses on. Stop pretending. Um, that's weird. Hold on, it's not on the bottle. I'm looking on the box. It's got to be a 1.7. I don't understand, y'all. See, you know I can't see, but why, why is the writing that little? Can somebody tell me? And you can't hardly see it. Who supposed to be able to read that? I don't, I think it, oh, it might say a 1.3 ounce, so. But they were 50% off at the CCO store. And they have quite a few of these scents. So, but this is the one I picked. This one is a more, I feel like this is more nighttime. It has like a woody floral type of thing going on. I feel like this will be something like, you know, if you have a scent that's too, too, too sweet and you want to just kind of like balance it out. I feel like this because it's, it's floral and woody. I feel like it would balance out a scent that's too sweet, You know, if that makes sense. So those are the two items that I picked up at the CCO store while I was in Orlando. Now, y'all, let's get into the makeup. Yeah. My, my sister-in-law gave me this little basket for Christmas. Y'all, we're doing all of the one size. We finna talk. So, Patrick, if you're watching, which I know you are, we got to, we finna talk. We finna talk. Y'all, let me tell you a little story right quick. While I was in Orlando, I found out that my little cousin actually went to high school with Patrick Starr, y'all. And we were talking about makeup and um, I don't even know how Patrick's name came up, but we started talking. She was like, oh yeah, I went to high school with him. And she was saying that how he was such a sweet, giving, like she said, he has such a great heart. And she just raved and raved and raved. And she's not, hey, Chai, are you driving? She's not, uh, she's not into makeup, makeup like, you know, we are. But she was just talking about him from her experience with him, you know, in high school and it, how she had seen him after, you know, once he's gotten on YouTube and blew up. And she said how he still had the same sweet, spirit basically and you know 
that's kind of good to know because a lot of times we have all these brands and these brand owners and we just kind of know what we see or, you know, on, on, on social media, you know what I mean? But to be able to actually talk to someone that actually knew them before they became famous and then still, you know, have seen them afterwards and still say they are still the same. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. So my, my little cousin definitely went to high school with them. And I was like, okay, all right. So that just made me like Patrick even more. You know what I mean? So today I do have, I'm going to show you the items that I have. I do have the eyeshadow palette, which is on sale. And it's been on sale for a while. I know it's on sale at Sephora. And it's on sale also on his website for what? $21? And y'all, I know y'all are very much familiar with all this, so, but I'm just going to show just for those that don't, may not know. This is the palette. I like the palette because to me it's a nice little neutral palette with a few pops of color. So that's the eyeshadow palette we're going to work with today. And then I also have, what is this called? The Cheek Clapper, the Cheek Clappers, which is the blush. I have it in Berry Gay. And how much is this? The cheek cappers are 34, come in six different shades. And then I have the made for shade, which is like the bronzer contour type situation. And it's $36. It comes in six shades. I also have the foundation. And well, how many shades? I wrote this stuff down so I could be prepared. Um, the foundation is turn up the base. I got it in dark three. And it is what? 18 shades. I also have the concealer, which comes in 24 shades, which is $25. This is $33. And then I also have the powder. This was one of the first things I got from them. And it came in um, 32 shades. No, it's, it's $32. I don't know how many shades to come in. But yeah. And then y'all, I'm going to say this off the rip. I'm just going to say this. This, what is it called? Go off. It's basically when you, it's a, it takes your makeup off. You spray it and it removes your makeup. Baby. This. Patrick. You did this. I love this. You can either get the wipes. Now, I'm not a big, the biggest fan of the wipes. But. Oh, wait a minute. I was heartbroken. The bomb broke. Oh, it broke your face out so Oh, no. Girl. Ooh. Yeah, we don't like that. But this right here, y'all, is amazing. Like, I have a full size, which is empty. And then I bought me a travel size because this thing right here works. It works, works, works. So let's get into it. What are we going to do? Let's do our face first. How about that? And then we'll do the eyes last. And we are going to get off of here and... Um, a reasonable amount of time that's the goal an hour and then i got something special for y'all so let's go ahead now let me say this about his okay patrick i'm talking straight to you this right here is called the turn up is a bbb cream so you know i'm thinking a bb cream um it's called a beauty bomb beauty blur bomb so i'm thinking this is what's gonna be kind of your skin but better, really light. Honey, no, no. First of all, I love, y'all, you just push a little thing right here and it opens up. And let me show you. This is Thickums. Do y'all see that? That don't really look very appealing the way that is. But, y'all, this stuff is thick. Chai said, I love every product from his line so far. I haven't tried the eyeshadow. Well, it's on sale for $21. So if you want to try it out. Y'all, this right here. I ain't put no primer on my face. It's all right. I'm just going to work. This right here caught me off guard. I did not expect for this to be so thick. And I'm going to say full coverage. I don't, what's, the, what's the claim for the coverage on here? Y'all gonna see. I'm gonna look and see. But when I tell you, she covers up everything, honey. 
y'all see that now y'all know i got the dark circles all of that is covered up pretty much but so what's so weird about this this product and what i like hey ria you can't say i just say love you okay catch the replay yeah get in them books girl what i'm gonna say about this even though this is this this product i put too much because you don't need a lot this product gives you all the coverage you need right like for me it's giving me all the coverage i need y'all but hold on it's giving me the coverage but it don't it don't feel heavy it's so weird as thick as this is and that's why I can see when he say it's a bomb, you know, like a BB cream, because you're still getting the lightness that you would get from a BB cream. But girl, you're getting the coverage that you would get from a full coverage foundation. Now, it did take me a minute to find my shade. It wasn't easy for me to find my shade. Now, the way they have it set up on the site, I do like the fact that you can actually see someone in your shade range with the um, product on. I think they do like a before and after. But see, look at all of that, that I got left. So you don't need a lot of this, y'all. And I've done my whole face. But it feels so, so, um, a <laughs> Sansa Ray found y'all shade. Yeah. It was hard for me to, you know, and even with the concealer, I'm going to say the same thing about the concealer because I really couldn't, there was such, we'll talk about that when we get to it, but this is the foundation, y'all. What do y'all think? I feel like I got a pretty decent match, but you don't, I got all this extra product that I definitely don't that need, but it feels so light. And when it says it blurs the skin, it blurs the skin. Maybe you need to try without skincare under it. Um, maybe. But did you try the powder? Because the 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 um powder is a foundation also. But it's something about his shades. It's, I have a hard time finding his my shade matches. And I feel like this product. Like it dries down and go. It's just a beautiful. It's beautiful. I like. I really, really do gotta say I like it. So okay, Patrick, we we good. We one on one. It blurs and color corrects. Yes. Yeah. I feel like Patrick came in the makeup industry, and he's coming for their throats, honey. He's not playing nobody's games because i'm like you chai so far I, i'm i'm here for i'm here for it like i have to say i'm truly here for it so complexion basically is done now let's do a little concealer now y'all the concealer was very difficult for me because i could not find the shade that i end up with was deep too and y'all know I'm not the type that like a major brightening under eye. But for me, Patrick, like this deep two and the shade under it was way too dark. But then the shade, I think, above it was way too light. So I just settled for the deep two. And y'all say I'm not really getting a ton of under eye brightness you know what i'm saying like let me show you my poor mother at see the difference in comparison in the shade see this is really what the shade i kind of like so this is 30 d30 pat mcgrath and then that right there is one size i prefer that shade but see how one size is kind of like 
straight into my skin, which you guys know I don't mind that either, especially when I'm doing uh, makeup, no makeup type of day. Like, I'll say this, when you compare maybe like with a pressed powder or something, then it's okay. Like, I'm not trying to do all that brightening. I'm just trying to, you know, hit the hot spots and make sure everything's looking good. But it definitely gives you coverage. You see that? See how I just not, I, I really do. It blurs too. You see that, y'all? I just wish I can find a lighter shade for when I want to do more of a brightening look. Just a little bit more. Like, it just snatched you. Like, he's snatching me all together. Has anybody else tried his concealer? And it's a corrector, too. Because you, I do see a little bit of that redness orange oranginess a little bit but not a lot but enough to color correct as well y'all check out okay so that's the deal with the concealer so so patrick we like your concealer i would just like a little bit more shade ranges it's like it's too much of a big jump if that makes sense i know it makes sense i know you know what i'm talking about and baby i am 51 years old so i definitely need me a little concealer so can you help us out all right so we did the concealer now um i'm gonna use okay so i purchased this this is um the versatile um, foundation powder and I got it in deep one. Hey, Pauline. Oh, yes, he did, child. He collab, he collab with Mac, y'all. Let me take... I, I think... I know I don't have no more. He... One of his lip glosses that he had done with Mac, with Mac. Oh, my gosh. When I tell you I loved it, they should have made that permanent. Like, for real. So the shade that I have in the foundation is, uh, what did I say? Deep in one. I felt like it was a little light. So I'm going to use it to just set under my eye. You see when I use it to set under the eye? Because it's kind of light. Let me swatch it for y'all. Y'all see that? So for me, I need to find a different shade for a powder foundation. So I'll just go in and just use it to set under my eye. Like I, I have, I have been having a little bit when it comes to the complexion and finding my right color. I have been having a few issues. But the product itself will be on point. All right, so we set using this powder. Now, let's get into the made for shade. You guys, first of all, his packaging is super cute. I got the dark trio, and there is a trio darker than this one. Packaging looks like this. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Now, I need to ask a question. Am I the only one that don't know? Let me tell you what I was doing. I'm going to tell you what I was doing. Because I was like, what? how do I use? Okay, this middle shade I was kind of using because it has a little redness, kind of like a bronzer type situation. But the other two shades... Like that bottom one, maybe I can use that under the eye. I should have did that. And then the top one, I think I can use all over the face. So let me swatch them so you can see. Oh! I hope this 
this video is helpful for anybody who was thinking about picking any of this stuff up. Okay, so this is the top shade. See, I'm saying, that's why I say I could use this maybe as a, a setting powder because see how it's just kind of like blending right into my skin? But it does have a little redness to it. Now, this middle shade is the one I was like, okay, I can use this one for a bronzer. So people use the middle shade for a bronzer and a corrector too. Okay, so yeah, I feel like I can use it for a bronzer. And then this bottom shade, because now this bottom shade has is a, a cooler tone to me. Oh, that's, and that, oh, no, okay. That's another thing about, it. you guys, these do come off deeper than what you see in the pan. So maybe I could use that one, but now that I've swatched it, no, I'm not putting it under my eye. So I don't know what to use that one for. Well, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. When I say, y'all, look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? The pigmentation is crazy. I can contour with that. Yeah. Oh, good. See, y'all, that's why I love sunscreen. You see that more? You see the difference? Y'all, be very light-handed because, honey, the pigmentation is there. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that um, bottom one. Let me get the here we go, and we just do a little chisel work. I'm just doing this one side so y'all can see the difference. Let me know if y'all are able to see the difference. So that was this bottom shade. I'm going down a little lower, lower because that's where I'm chiseling out. What do y'all think? tell y'all what the topic of the day was going to be. I wanted to talk about being yourself. And the reason why I want to talk about this because me and one of my friends were talking and we were just saying how in this society, especially with social media, everybody's just copying. It's, it's not a lot of originators. There's a lot of copiers. Like just for example, TikTok. One person comes up with a dance and then a million people copy the dance and make videos on it or whatever, you know. Whatever the trend is, one person comes up with the trend and then everybody else just follows along with the trend. And a lot of times if you don't go with the trend or you're outside the box, people try to say like something's wrong with you. And I'm like, well, no, uh, just, I'm just being myself. Just because I'm not following the crowd don't mean something's wrong with me. I'm just being my authentic self. And I feel like we need to really kind of drill that into our kids. <laughs> to the adults, too. But really with our kids, let our kids know that it's okay to be different. Y'all, this is so pretty. It's all right to be different. You don't have to be like everybody else. Be yourself. And walk in that proudly. Because God only created one you. And that's for a reason. 
And it's okay. I'm not saying that we can't do the trends. I'm not saying that, you know, of course we can. But if you choose not to, that's okay too. You feel me? I'm going to go in with this lighter shade just to use it. And I'm going to take, let me find a nice fluffy, fluffy brush. Hey, I'll use this. And I am going to just go right in the center with this brush, with this one. Oh, it does give me a little bit of lightness. Social media, AKA programming. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Y'all yeah. I'm loving this whole little, this right here. Patrick. Yes. Yes. And yes. Y'all know I travel a lot. This is perfect for traveling. So I got my bronze and my contour, and I can even do a highlight powder in the center of my face with this. Like, he done gave me what I need. All right, y'all. So my thoughts on the, um, what is it called? Made for Shade. Bomb.com. Loving it. My fact, I'm loving it. Now let's get into the cheek claps. And I got Berry Gay Shade. And let me tell you what else I like about it. Because some brands have similar packaging for their products. But they be the same or very, very close to the same. So you have to open them up to see which is which. I love the fact that you definitely know this is my bronzer, this is my blush. The packaging is totally the packaging is the same, but totally different at the same time. I really love that touch. Because I hate when I'm looking for something and then I gotta open up everything to see what it is that I'm trying to get. Y'all, when I tell you this is the berry gay shade, let me show you what it looks like. You get a cream up top, you get a, a blush, and I say this is a highlighter. Y'all, excuse my nails. But it's a sh uh, shimmering blush. But I use it as a highlighter. And I like that you got the little, it's a little, what you call them, that keeps the little flap that keeps the cream from drying out. Now, when I tell y'all, <laughs> go in with a light hand because pigmented, he was not playing when it came to pigmentation. I didn't go, Pauline. I didn't go. I end up not going. So, um, oh, well, well, I went. Okay, let me go back. What me and you were going to do was for my mother-in-law's birthday. We didn't go. But I had a death in the family, so I ended up having to go to Orlando two weeks ago. So, and then y'all, my mama moved to Florida, too. Like, oh, I love it. I love she's happy. Girl, she had been cracking up, sending me pictures of her and they little golf. She is definitely a, Flor a Floridian now. Um, they little golf cart and stuff, super cute. But next time I go to West Palm Beach, I will be calling you because I definitely want to meet up with you. But yeah, we end up not going down. We didn't get to go. But okay, so let's do this blush right quick. But yeah, I think social media is like a programming. Like, okay, this is what you do. This is what you say. This is how you dress. This is how you walk. This is how you talk. And if you go outside of that, something wrong with you. No, boo-boo, ain't nothing wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with me at all. I just choose not to do that. And we got to normalize that. We have to make that normal. Like, okay, I don't have to do that. And and it's okay. Can y'all hear can y'all hear people talking in the background? Okay, we're going to go into the cream. Oh, you guys, the Lotus. Um, okay. The Lotus um, uh, brush set is back in stock on Beautylish. So if you did not get your hands on it, y'all, it's back. Okay, so y'all, let me show you. I'm just barely dabbing because, honey, I know the pigmentation is like, there so i'm just going you have to build it up slowly 
Because if you go in too heavy, we're we going to be clownish. You're going to be looking clownish. Hold on. Hey, I can hear y'all in here. You see how I'm just barely putting it on? But what I like about it is that even though it's a cream, it's not so emollient to where it's just slipping and sliding all over the face. You feel me? So that's that. Y'all see that's so pretty. And I when I tell you, I barely put anything on. So if you just are a girl that likes cream, you can definitely, definitely get away with putting this on your face and not really having to set. Because it almost feels like it's, because I'm barely putting it on, it's like drying down almost matte-like a little bit. Y'all see the, the difference? Let me go in on the other side. But yeah, I think we have to normalize being ourselves and not going with the crowd. And I think also when you don't be your authentic self and you just always go with the crowd, you don't know who you are. And I'm not being shady. I'm saying that because if you're always doing what everybody else is doing, how do you really know what you like, what you really want to do, what really makes you happy? Because in a way, you're being told what to do and what's making you happy. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all, that blush, so pretty. I, somebody can, Tanita, Tanina Norton. Hey, girl. I love this. What do y'all think? Now, the reason, another reason why I went so light with the cream is because I'm gonna use the powder also, and I suggest using a nice fluffy brush. And again, lightly, y'all, this might be too much. Lightly going in. And I'm just kind of like, look at that. That's for, y'all see how much I put on here? Both cheeks. This is going to last you until Jesus come back. Like forever. Like this is going to last you forever. Because you do not need a lot. And see, by me adding that on top of the cream, you can see it intensified the color. But you have to be light-handed with it. Now that's okay. Let me ask you this: because it's so pigmented, pigmented, I don't feel like this is beginner-friendly. Because if you don't really know how to build up a color, and you do your like, you see how I just did my whole face, and then I would have went in and put this blush on way too much. It's like, okay, we got to start over. Or you or you really have to, especially if you're a beginner, you wouldn't know how to maybe go in and fix too much blush. So I'm not sure if this is beginner friendly, but it's beautiful. It's pigmented. It gets the job done. And I definitely recommend it. And, but if you are a beginner when it comes to blushes and you're uh, afraid of blush, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm scared of blush. I don't want to look clownish. I, very lightly take your time and build her up so now let's go into this bottom shade oh they do have names don't they the bottom shade is bury me and i'm gonna use my highlighter this little brush i like to use for highlighter because it definitely let me swatch it it definitely has Look at that. So it definitely could be a blush topper or you could use it as a highlighter as well. So I'm going to use it like a highlighter. So we're going to kind of go right up. Y'all, you do not, I keep telling y'all, you see that? We, we, ain't, we don't need a lot.
And it's blending out pretty, pretty easy too. I'm not having a hard time. Well, I don't know, wait a minute. Yeah, it's blending out nicely. So now I got a little topper and a highlighter. And y'all know my, my makeup aesthetic is soft glam. So I don't like a real beam into the gosh type of highlighter. So you guys, do I recommend this? Absolutely. Right here, and really, if you just took this and this with you, and like maybe that balm, you could do your whole face because you could use this eye, this right here for eyeshadows. You know, y'all know how we do. You could use this for eyeshadows as well. Eyeshadow blush, you could use it all. So yes, we like, we likey, we likey. Now let's get into the eyeshadow palette. Now I've used this eyeshadow palette a few times and I haven't really watched any reviews on it, but from what I've used, it's a, it's a decent eyeshadow palette. I haven't had any issues. So we're just gonna go in and I, I like it because, you know, I love me some greens. So I love this whole little green row, this right here for the greens. And then, you know, I like neutrals. So like charge this right here, this whole little section right there would be really good because I know you love your good neutral. So you definitely and got um, some deepening shades. You got some transition shades. You got you some shimmer shades, some brow brown shades. And then you got a little pop of color. And I feel like for $21, oh, hello, y'all better run and get it. 21 bucks. We can't beat that. So I'm just doing a real simple look, y'all. We're doing something real simple, quick, because I want to get out of here. And I got something special for y'all I want to do. Um, now, I do feel like some of these colors are kind of like cool tone a little. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And we're just going to put that all over the lid as my transition. Because I'm doing a real quick, simple eye. But yeah, y'all, so do you guys feel the same way that I'm, do y'all understand what I'm saying when I'm saying about being yourself? Oh, did you? Do you like it? Oh, 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 you guys, um, Jamila, you guys know who Jamila is, right? Jamila, you guys, I'm so happy for her. She did a collab with an eyeshadow brand. Oh, what's the name of the brand? Pretty in my pretty in my face or my pretty face? Sunsere. What's the name of the brand? Uh, listen to me go to Sunsere. Y'all, Sunsere, if you guys are not following Enamel Beauty, you need to be following her on Instagram because she keeps you up with all the new new and all of the sales and the deals. Uh, but anyway, she came up and she worked with this brand and created her own eyeshadow color y'all she has her own eyeshadow color it's a red um shade and this the brand is having a 50 percent off sale plus if you use the code jamila you get an additional 20 percent off oh it'll be there in about two weeks okay y'all y'all i'm definitely gonna go pick up a couple Go support a sister. Hashtag support a sister. And if you've been looking for a nice red eyeshadow, you can always use it. Pretty, uh, the prettiest for your face. That's the name of the, the brand. And uh, once this lot, once this, um, hey, once this um, live goes up, I will put it in the description box. But definitely go to Jamila's Instagram page. And you will, you'll definitely be able to find it there as well. But I am so proud. Yeah, I love seeing us win. I love it. I think it's amazing. And we have to celebrate one another. And Nicole is Jamila. Thank you. And we have to celebrate one another. She had the opportunity. And, I, and she's. this is not a brand that just um, somebody that just slid in her DMs and was like, hey, you want to do a collab? She said she owns uh, over 100 of the single shadow. So this is a brand that she rocks with, that she really likes, and she believes in the quality. And if she believes in the quality and she rocks with them, I'll rock with them too, because I trust her judgment. 
All right, y'all, we're going to go in with this deeper shade, deep brown shade right here for the outer V. So I can just, we doing something real quick and easy. Y'all know I ain't going nowhere but to work. We ain't going nowhere but to work. But yeah, definitely go support her and check her out. And then I also want to send a shout out to um, Tara Lynn. You guys know she did a collab with um, uh, Christian Ardette, the Lippies. They're in my purse. Um, no, the lipstick is right here. The lip gloss. Oh, no, I'm lying. I just told y'all a whole lot. It's right here. We're going to use that today. Definitely go check that out. Yes, positive. Exactly. We definitely have to celebrate each other. Like, because when one win, we all win. When one door, when you know what I'm saying? When one door is open for one of us, that means someone else another one of us will be able to walk through that door as well so we can't be out here hating on somebody because oh they may have got an opportunity that you didn't get and the thing is you didn't get it yet she is i am jamila on youtube thank you chai yes definitely check her out you guys and she loves um getting good deals. If you always looking for a good deal with makeup, that's her thing. And she buys, uh, she has a eclectic taste. So you'll be able to find from indie to luxury on her channel. She, she buys a little bit of everything, but she's always looking for a good deal. <laughs> Cracks me up. I love it. Okay. Y'all this eyeshadows are very, it's pigmented. It's doing what it's supposed to do. This brown is not super duper dark, but there is a black. Cause y'all know how I feel about having a dark outer V. I'm a little obsessed with that. If I were to ever create an eyeshadow palette, it would be a must. Like you got to have it. And then also y'all, y'all, my cousin, I just found out if you like mukbang videos, she started a channel about, I think she said 10 months ago. I just found out about it. And it's called Coco T, T-E-E TV. And it'll be linked in my description box. Also, once this video, you know, does, you know how the lives do y'all. Y'all know how it go. But she is a mukbang channel. And she has some really good conversations. So definitely check her out. But yeah. So y'all, y'all can see that that brown, I built it. I built it. I built it. Built it? Is that a word? I built it up <laughs> a little bit. Now, I'm trying to blend it out. There we go. There we go. The blending process is not as easy as what I'm accustomed to. But y'all know, once you go to mother, it's kind of hard. We're going to go right here. I got a question for y'all. Next week, do y'all want to see me do my Danessa Myricks video filmed or on the live? Because I do have the new bomb, the new foundation, and um, I have I have some thoughts. I haven't I haven't tried the bomb yet because it hasn't gotten here. But I was going to either film it or come on here and do a live. I kind of like doing these one brand live things. Because that way we can talk back and forth. I'm taking this lighter shade just to blend out. Because now that I've built up that brown, it's pretty doggone dark. And I ain't mad at it. Now we're going to go in with one of the shimmers. I'm going to use everything. This shade right here. And I'm using, y'all, rougher. If you are new to natural hair brushes and you're not trying to spend your mortgage, which ain't nothing wrong with that, but the rougher brushes, y'all, I have become a really big fan. And they're very affordable. Okay, so this right here, now, let me see. Okay, there we go. I say, oh, it's not coming up, but there we go. We just put a little shimmer ooh, on the lid. Because again, I ain't going nowhere but to work. 
So they definitely show up. Um, if you can get this palette for $21, I say definitely pick it up. Because everything is working. It's doing what it's supposed to. That is a pretty shade. Everything. I see why they call it everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love, y'all know I love our Wednesday nights. We can do Wednesday night lives every week. I'm just now getting back into it because y'all know the Rona had your girl down. for, And I was trying to get my life together. But Wednesday nights I love because I love to be able to talk to y'all. You know what I mean? Like, this is our community. This is our house, y'all. You know, we're at the grown women's table. We're sitting down at the table chit-chatting it up. And I love it. And it's all positive. I love the fact that we don't all have to think the same. We don't all have to have the same thoughts and opinions. But we can just come say what we have to say. We Everybody's always respectful to one another. I just love it. No drama. None at all. Oh, speaking of drama, Amber um, did a video about saying, is the makeup community on YouTube dead or not? I don't know. what The, the title is something like that. But I watched it the other night. Oh, my God. It was such a good video. If you guys have not checked that video, I'll go to Amber's page, Amber Pocalot's page, and um, check it out. A lot of y'all probably are already following her. It was such a good video. I love what she was saying. I agree with everything that she was saying in that video about the drama that happened or didn't happen in our community. Okay, I got a little bit. A little bit of fallout. A little bit. Now, he does, I think, have liners, but I don't have any liners. He does have a new mascara coming out, but I don't have it. But, y'all, I have been loving this Tom Ford mascara that I got from the CCO store. Baby. Like, given, y'all know I love the um, Dark Star and I love the NARS Climax and the Climax Extreme. I know I love both of those, but knocking down the dough. I'm really enjoying it. Now the blending, you have to do a little blend. I feel like I'm doing a little extra with the blend on this. As a matter of fact, let me take this brown shade. We're gonna do that um in the lower lash line. Do that instead of using an eyeliner. Okay, y'all, we got two minutes. I'm trying to get y'all out of here in an hour. Because I don't want to hold y'all whole evening up. All right, just add a little something down there. Put a little mascara on. Y'all, I got a giveaway. A giveaway. And these are the rules to the giveaway. All you have to do is not use the word giveaway. Because I don't want to know. It's a hidden giveaway. I don't want people to know. Um, but all you have to do is put a comment in the comment section under the video. Once it, you know, do what it do. And um, put a purple heart at the end of the comment. And that will let me know you want to be entered into the giveaway. And I want to make sure I give my, my ladies a chance to watch the replay. And option, I mean, opportunity to get in on this giveaway also. Because I have so many ladies that, you know, we got real lives, y'all. We got stuff to do. And we can't always be sitting in front of our phones watching the live. So I, I, y'all know I understand that. Because we, we, we out here living real life. So for those that have to come back and do the replay, I appreciate you and I thank you. And for those of y'all that show up every week, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all too. Y'all, do y'all see what that mascara just did? It just, it just gave me this whole attitude of like, girl, she's so cute. Hi, Miss T. Hey, Duffy. 
Yes, I'm so happy for her. Jamila's in the building. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all, Jamila, girl, I just want to say to you, I am so proud of you. I am so happy for you. I'm so glad that God has blessed you to be able to do this collab and create your own shade. You deserve that and more. And when your eyeshadow palette drops, I will be purchasing that as well. Because I'm just going to speak an eyeshadow palette into your existence. How about that? You don't have any rougher brushes, but the Lotus brushes say, oh, I love the, yeah. It really does the work for you. Yes, yes, yes. You watched Amber's video? Yes. Yeah, the, I'm really, I'm really, really, really. Girl, don't worry about being late. YouTube, girl, you know how YouTube do. I'm trying to catch up. Y'all definitely, and this is hey, boo. Yeah, I love Sonya G brushes. But I am really becoming a big fan of refer brushes because these refer brushes are getting the job done. Okay. Yeah, but if this is a family girl. We family, child. It had Miss T head you down too, girl. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, we love you, Jamila. Jamila, put your YouTube. Um, I think I think Chari did it, but I'm gonna definitely link you once this live goes up. Okay, y'all. Let me show y'all the giveaway. Oh, let me put on my lippy. Y'all, this is the collab that Tara Lynn did with Kristen Ardette. And all I need, where is my chestnut? All I need in my life, <laughs> me and my girlfriend. I don't even know where that came from. Where's chestnut? Well, you know what? I'll just add a little deep boy because it's sitting right here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I really love this shade on me. Y'all see that? So when you look at it, you be like, uh, I don't know. But y'all. What? With a little deep void? She cute. She cute, cute. And then the gloss, love. the gloss is really good. Remember when, how we be talking about the Tom Ford glosses have like some skincare properties or something you feel like it's doing a little something, something? I feel like that with this gloss too. Not exactly the same, but definitely you know something going on. And I have pink, naturally pink lips anyway. So I love this gloss because it just gives my lips a little mm-mm. Y'all, I'm just gonna let y'all know we about to get off of here, but... I think I hear my husband coming with his grand with the grandkids. So, ain't that pretty, y'all? Uh, juicy, real juicy and cute. All right, I've been talking about the giveaway, and we're getting out of here. So, if you have not picked up this, definitely check that out. Um, she did that. I feel like Tara Lynn gave us something that really is universal. Like, y'all know her her skin tone, and you see my skin tone. And we both can wear this lippy. So, yeah. My last girl, the lashes, Jamila, it is this Tom Ford that I got from the CCO store. And what is it called? Hold on. I got it at the CCO store for the Lolo. It's the Extreme Mascara. That's what it's got. That's the name of it. Extreme Mascara from Tom Ford. It's doing all the work. All right, let's get into this giveaway box, y'all. This is the box that came in. Y'all remember when um, Soul De Janeiro had a little set? Okay, I'm going to have to fix my eyeshadow, y'all. I'm not. The eyeshadow palette, it's, uh, it's okay. But for $21, it's worth it. I got to fix my blend. That's bothering me. Hold on. I'll do that when I get off. I might have built up that brown too much, thinking it wasn't. Okay, we ain't got time. All right, let me show y'all what's in here. So this is the giveaway. 
Right, I don't wear lashes either. So yeah, a good. So I like this Tom Ford. I also like Pat McGrath's Dark Star, and I also like Nars Extreme, um, Climax Extreme. So in the giveaway, I'm giving you. You guys know this channel is all about us being women, dealing with women's issues, working on ourselves. And we, you know, I said when I came back, I really want to work on me and everything about me, not just the outer portion, but my health, my spirit, work on it all. So I just wanted to give y'all a little thing, some things that I love. So y'all know I love the Champagne Toast scent from Bath & Body Works. So there's a, um, the, the body wash and the lotion will be in the giveaway. And you guys know, ever since I caught COVID, your girl has been walking with Leslie. Although I was walking with Leslie before, but I have really been walking with Leslie. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it's a very easy way to get a nice workout in. But um, so I'm giving a DVD and this one is a walk slim. It's a fast and firm for real big miles. So you can either do one mile, two miles, three miles or four miles. You can get four miles in with this. And it also came with one of the little stretchy bands that you use. So I'm gonna give you this. And then also the walks with the hits. So if you wanna do a workout that gives you a little bit more, uh, these right here, this was a nice workout. And I think you, I think this is up to three miles. So you'll do a hit training. Hit training simply means is you start off slow, you go up really high, then you come back and you bring your heart rate down low again, and then you go back up high. So it's, it's that type of series. So those two DVDs are in there. And then, y'all, my, my Bessie works at WIC, but she gave me this little bitty notebook pad. It's really simple. It's just a simple notebook pad. And I know you're like, girl, why is you giving me a little notebook pad? I'm giving you this little notebook pad because every day I want you to write something great, amazing, beautiful, wonderful about yourself. Just jot it down. Write something, an affirmation for, about you. Lift yourself up. Move your crown. Because a lot of times we wait for other people to affirm us, build us up, say great things to us. Girl, sometimes if you're waiting on somebody else, you'll be waiting for the rest of your life. You need to learn how to build yourself up. So that's why I put this little, little, um, notebook pad in there just so you and then you can just go back and once you write it down reread it and all that kind of stuff hey boo no problem and then of course y'all know i'm giving y'all some makeup we 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 not doing that but the cco this is from the cco store this little bag now let's go in and i'll tell you what's in here y'all i love these do i got one open yeah these little facial cleansing mitts, this is what it looks like. I don't want to open it, but this is what it looks like. And you use it to wash your face. I have one in my shower. I have one everywhere. But I gave you one of these. And then we have a Tom Ford quad. And this one is in the shade Honeymoon. Uh, hold on, let me get mine so I can show you. Hold on. Um... Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Where is it at? Ah! I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. This is my little Tom Ford collection, y'all. So let me find Honeymoon so I can show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I thought I had Honeymoon. Y'all, I might not have... Oh, here it is. Right here in my face, girl. It was a snake. It was big. Oh, y'all, I got to tell y'all. Next week, when we come back, I'm going to tell y'all the story of how a frog attacked me. All right. This is Honeymoon. I'm going to take... Because I don't want to open up y'all's, but this is what Honeymoon looks like. So that's Honeymoon. So someone will receive Honeymoon. Let me put this on the floor. So right now... And then, girl, a frog attacked me yesterday, and I don't got time to tell y'all tonight, so we'll talk about it next week. Um, my favorite scent that I'm loving is 
um, Very Good Girl. So it's a sample of that. I love my way, so I gave you a sample of that and the Valentino. You get a sample of that, just so you could know how your girl be smelling. And then we have some skincare. So we have a little sample of uh, the Estee Lauder Essence, and then there's an eye cream and a moisturizer. And then we have some makeup and some NARS. Oh, thank you. So you got a crayon pencil, the lippy. And this is a little mini bronzer. I don't know what shade it's in, but the new Mar NARS little mini bronzer. And then we have, what's this? Orgasm blush. You know, they always give you an orgasm, I think. They just trying to make you happy, huh? And then we got a lipstick. And then this is the foundation in D2. A little mini foundation in D2. Got all the goodies. So those are the items in the giveaway. And I will pick and announce the winner of the giveaway next Wednesday. And then I'll ship it out. But all you have to do is, once this video uploads, put a comment in the comment section. Put a purple heart at the end that will let me know that you want to be a part of the giveaway. Do not use the word giveaway because this is a hidden giveaway. And I just want to make sure those that, you know, rock with your girl have an opportunity. So... That's it, y'all. This is my finished look using one size. And what I'm going to say, Patrick, boo, you, you did that. Your brand, I feel like Patrick Starr's brand is killing it. Like, he's not playing no games with you. Just, girl. So I will pick up his new mascara, but yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. I love loose powder. Oh, you love the loose powder? See, I'm not a big loose powder fan, but I need to... Now, this eyeshadow, y'all, it's, it's, it's irking my nerve, but I'm going to have to fix that. But everything else, yeah. Yeah, don't forget to like the video. Check you. Thank you. You guys, don't forget, check out Jamila, her collab. We're so proud of you, girl. So proud of you. And don't forget to check out Tara Lynn's collab, her lippy collab as well. And before we go, I know I'm over an hour, but for all my um, content creators, please let us know what you got going on for the week. I want to always give you guys an opportunity to let us know what to be looking out for. Hey, Lot! So let us know what you got going on for the week. And make sure we support you guys. We all going to support one another. Don't forget to go check out Amber's video when she's talking about is the beauty community, the beauty, the beauty community dead. Definitely watch that video. Lala says she has a vlog up now. Definitely go check that out. I'm trying to see what's... So Lala is the only one guy got something else going on. Yeah, she is such a fun creator to watch. I love, y'all, and I, I know Amber personally. She actually is my hairdresser. And the person that you guys see on her YouTube channel is truly her. When I say her heart is amazing, like she is freaking amazing. Freaking amazing, y'all. She She's that girl. She's that girl. And I love that anything she do, she get that paperwork behind it. She don't just do something. Like, she go to school, get a certificate. She, I love Amber. That's my girl. But anyway, y'all, I got to go. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the grown women's table. And until the next video, bye-bye, ladies. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Remember, it's a secret giveaway. I'm making sure I got everybody. Okay. Good night, Roberta. And Dessa, Lala, Chai, Jamila. Do do do. Lock. Mm -hmm. Time I think I got everybody. Is everybody still in here? Okay, I think I got everybody. If I didn't get you, I'm sorry, but I love you. 
Bye, y'all.